Hello, everyone. Welcome back to JSA TV and JSA Podcast. We are here live at DCD Virginia, and we are covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations in the digital infrastructure industry. So I'm one of, here with one of the leaders in the industry, with Dean Boyle. He is CEO and co-founder of EchoSense. Welcome to JSA TV, Dean. Thanks, yeah, we're very, very excited to chat with you today. All things sustainability is definitely a topic we're going to be hitting on, data center optimization in general. Um, so we'll go ahead and jump right in. So actually, the Echo since team hosted one of the lunches uh, yesterday. It was very well attended. I was there, packed house, um, and you talked about uh, top data center challenges. I know sustainability was one of them. It keeps coming up across the board, DCD London, DCD Virginia. Um, so could you just talk a little bit about that, um, sure. what, what, that where that conversation is leading? Sure. Mm -hmm. um, so EchoSense has been doing sustainability programs for, for a number of years, our whole existence. So mm -hmm. we routinely optimize data centers, critical spaces, uh, be it under a CSR, OPEX, carbon saving. ESG is absolutely right in our wheelhouse. That's all we've ever done. So sustainability, driving efficiencies, reducing carbon, saving OPEX, that is all EchoSense does. So we clearly, we're a European-based business. Mm -hmm. ESG is huge over there. Energy crisis through devastating world issues. So energy crisis through the roof over there. And legislation coming across in Europe, so CSRD, ED, so real hard-hitting legislation, um, which is forcing colo, multi-tens of data centers to report, properly report, with an auditable framework around it. Mm -hmm. That is driving a lot, of, uh, a lot of work, a lot of efforts going in, in, in the European market. So it's been really interesting when I come across to Europe, uh, to uh, US-based uh, conferences and shows, and like you say, we do quite a few of them. Mm -hmm. I often wonder, is that same kind of requirement, same customer drivers, is it the same thing over in the US as it is uh, in the UK? It always hasn't been. Mm -hmm. So energy price is not necessarily reflected uh, in the US like it is in Europe. But I have to say, coming out of the sustainability workshop that we did yesterday, as you say, really well attended, which was mm -hmm. great. It's exactly the same. So even in the American market, top-down driven, C-suite driven, ESG uh, metrics and requirements, people need to be good citizens now. So we're seeing the same kind of um, requirements in the, in the uh, U.S. market, which is great and, and perfectly plays into the EchoSense solution of what we can do. Yeah, absolutely. This is such a company to watch um, in the U.S. market globally, really. But since we're here in D.C.D. Virginia, we'll talk about the U.S. market. Um, uh, you know, really, truly leaders and innovators in uh, data center sustainability. Um, so we'll uh, just kind of launch into one of those innovations. So you recently announced a version eight of your award winning EchoSoft uh, critical platform. Can can you tell us a little bit about the updates there with version 8 and how it's helping your customers? Sure. Um, so version 8 brought a, a whole slug of um, innovation around the statewide reporting. So we have uh, hundreds and hundreds of data centers in our suite. We have 50 billion data points. Hmm. So it's it's some of our customers have, have tens, hundreds of sites. So version 8 allows us to group those sites, make it really easy, really visible. And particularly around those ESG, those all important ESG metrics, it allows you to rank sites. So if I've got a big sprawling estate, which site is, is, is more efficient? Where mm -hmm. do I need to focus my effort? Perhaps where do I need to put some CapEx spend? Mm -hmm. And just that way of ranking sites and seeing quite, um, quite uh, uh, small deviations in thermal performance, in cooling performance, in power performance. It just allows you to see which sites are working better than others which sites are more efficient. Mm -hmm. So some real innovation about grouping sites together and, and just seeing how uh, efficient, how well they're performing, and just being able to collect a statewide ESG metrics for the all important uh, legislation coming down the line. So really that is at the root of, of version eight and just building on those real innovation uh, mm -hmm. points that we've got in the software and AI machine learning gathering huge amounts of data points, so mm -hmm. 50 billion data points, Ooh. and just trying to make it intuitive, easy to use, and, and really simple for the operator to use. Yeah, excellent. That's definitely what's needed. Um, so so thank you for that update. And also, one last thing on the sustainability front, keeping to that. So this is uh, volume one of the Greener Data Book that, um, that was launched last year, and uh, volume two is launching next Earth Day, and we're very excited that EchoSense is going to be a part of uh, a part of volume two. So could you tell us a little bit about what your chapter will be about? Sure. And we're delighted to contribute to this uh, the, the next version. So thank you very much. Um, the next version really is again all around. I know it's a recurring theme, but really all around those ESG reporting requirements. Uh, I'd say 
crunching lots and lots of data, mm -hmm. and really about how existing systems, existing software systems, incumbent software systems, so things like legacy DSIM systems, BMS systems, how they are perhaps not best placed to collect the types of granular data and the reporting requirements that big operators have got. And so it really is about how the newer breed of software systems can help overcome those challenges uh, and just deliver those ESG reporting metrics that are, that are vital and, and absolutely uh, mandated by legislation. Yeah, excellent. Well, I definitely look forward to, to reading that. And uh, everybody should should watch the greener data space and also watch the Ecosense space. So definitely innovators in the space. Thank you so much, Dean. Really appreciate your time. Thank you for your time. Thank you. And thank you, viewers, for hanging out with us here today live from DCD, Virginia. Happy networking.